guys and welcome to a different Russia channel. We continue to explore one of uh, big shopping malls or shopping plazas. It is located in the suburbs of Moscow, not far from Kat, Moscow Ring Road. And this particular plaza or shopping mall is called Bele Dacha. It is the third episode. The link to the previous episodes you may find in the description under this video. From time to time I read in comments, please show us some DIY store. So guys, DIY stores are one of my favorite. Huge Leonardo, guys. That is, guys, a very big DIY store, like Hobby Lobby. And uh, this particular store is the biggest one. It is called Leonardo. Leonardo is a chain supermarket, uh, a chain store. There are a lot of uh, small Leonardo shops in different parts of Moscow. And this one is considered one of the biggest, if not the biggest. So <laughs> it is some info from internet. I'm not sure whether it is the biggest one or not, but I read that it is the biggest Leonardo store that we have in Moscow region and in Moscow. I'm for the first time in this particular store, so we shall explore this store together with you. I will show you just the general picture. I'm not sure that you are interested in all the prices here. As you may see, they have a lot of everything. As for the prices, they are not very low and not very high. As for Moscow, that is some average price. Of course, you may find some cheaper prices, especially online. And on AliExpress, where I like to shop, of course, uh, prices are much cheaper. But you have to wait for two months, sometimes for one month. So if you need uh, something immediately, so you have to pay a little bit more. And in this case, you may buy here in Leonardo. From time to time, they have uh, good sales. And also they have uh, some discount card. What else, guys? Here, from time to time, they organize different classes, such as, for example, painting or making albums or making some postcards. Usually, these classes are not free. Uh, the price, uh, sometimes it is $10, sometimes a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less. So, but that is not very expensive if you would like to go to some master class or some crafts class. By the way, guys, the managers in this particular store were very kind and explained everything to me, where to find this or that thing, so answered all my questions. That was very nice of them. And also some of them saw me filming and no one told that I could not film inside the store. Also, guys, I should say that uh, there are not very many American popular brands here. Ah, what Tim Holtz? Ah, нет, не Tim Holtz. Okay. Для кожи. Нет, фирма Tim Holtz. In America, Tim Holtz, um, Tim Holtz company, Tim Holtz brand. I don't know how to say this. So, Tim Holtz is very, very popular. This company uh, makes really great things for making albums, such as uh, die cuts, paper, or well, they have a variety of different products, and all of them are great. Uh, here I tried to find some Tim Holtz uh, products, but unfortunately, uh, Leonardo doesn't work with uh, Tim Holtz company. Also, American products are very expensive here because uh, ruble is um, very cheap in comparison with dollar. And uh, also, when someone brings American products here, they put two prices, three prices. So the expensive product uh, becomes enormously expensive in this way. Here is everything for candles, for soap to make soap. I'm for the first time here. Usually I go to another Leonardo. 
It is much smaller. And here is really a very big one. That is pictures. They have numbers and you paint every number with different color. Puzzles. The average price from $20, 10 20 So guys, as you may understand, I may spend here hours, <laughs> really hours, wandering from one shelf to another. have an idea of making a big clock so maybe I will buy this maybe something like this wow a lot of staples paper how much is the paper 19 rubles, not very expensive, guys. Cardstock. Cardstock. Mm -hmm. This one is expensive. On AliExpress is much cheaper. $10. For this one. And here are sets, sets of staples. The price, the price, I think it is here. Fifty dollars. Wow, fifty dollars for one set. Mm. That's too much, guys. <laughs> They have no team holds, as far as I can see, but maybe <laughs> that is on some other shelf. They saw me filming, but said nothing. That is great. <laughs> I like this so much better now, because I was afraid that they will not let me film. Floristica. Some moth. Five dollars. That is clay. Three dollars. One dollar for one form. That is to make soap, handmade soap. Cups. Cups are expensive, guys. About twenty dollars for one cup. 
different bottles for five dollars spices hmm. they have spices but i don't know what for so guys so i hope that this small excursion this small tour around uh, leonardo storm was interesting for you that is all for today but we shall continue to explore this particular plaza in the future episodes we shall go with you to a food court we shall go with you to ashan that is a very popular supermarket here in moscow uh, where else? Uh, also, we shall go to Obi, that is a DIY store for men, where a lot of tools, so everything for construction, for renovation of apartments, so that is in the future episodes. So put thumbs up if you like this episode, thumbs down if you do not like, subscribe if you are for the first time on my channel. A lot of interesting videos I hope will be in the nearest future. By the way, if you like uh, to have a look at my scrapbook albums, also write in comments, I will post a video on my live channel. I will show you what albums I make and uh, some junk journals that I made a few days ago. So guys, uh, thank you for watching. Goodbye. See you soon in the next episodes. Пока!